Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be designing and simulating a second order low pass filter circuit using the KiCad tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. This tutorial covers the design and the calculation which is required for the second order low pass filter and also the hands-on tutorial how to use the KiCad tool in order to design and simulate the second order low pass filter circuit. Now click on new, click on project and in my case I try to create a different folder for each project so you can name this file as second order filter and save this particular project now double click on second order filter schematic and we get this particular schematic window now click on place symbol click on the schematic and in the filter type lm741 and select this particular operational amplifier and place this particular operational amplifier as shown on the schematic window now right click on operational amplifier select property edit property define the reference as u1 and click on edit spice model select models and we have to select the model file for lm741 so select lm741 type as sub circuit alternate node sequence as 3 2 7 4 and 6 and click OK now we have to place the resistor and the capacitor value for this particular tutorial so click on place symbol and place the cursor on the schematic window now we have to place three resistor and two capa two capacitor for this particular design so click on resistor and place the resistor on the schematic now right click on the resistor click on properties edit property define the resistor reference as r1 and define the value as 68 kilo ohm and orientation as plus 90 and click ok now right click on the resistor and select duplicate and place this particular resistor value similarly right click on properties edit property define the reference as r2 now we have to place the resistor number 3 so place the cursor on the schematic select the resistor and right click on this particular resistor select property edit property define the reference as r3 define the value as 150 kilo ohm and select the orientation as plus 90 and click ok now similarly we have to place the capacitor value c1 and c2 now click on capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window right click on capacitor select property edit property define the reference as c1 define the value as 1600 picofarad and click ok similarly we have to place the capacitor c2 in this particular tutorial so place the capacitor on the schematic now right click on property edit property define the reference as c2 and define the value as 3300 picofarad and define the orientation as plus 90 and click ok next we have to place the various voltage source for this particular tutorial so type p spice and select the voltage source and we have to place three different voltage source for this particular tutorial two voltage source will be the supply voltage for the op amp and one voltage source would act as a input for this particular second order low pass filter so the next thing we have to do is we have to place the 
ground connection so click on place power port and select the ground and place the ground connection for all the voltage source which has to be placed across the negative terminal of the voltage source and also we have to place the ground connection across the capacitor C1 so place the connection accordingly as shown in this particular tutorial now click on wire and connect the resistor R1 to the resistor R2 and the resistor R2 is connected across the pin number 3 of LM741 next the capacitor C1 must be connected to resistor R2 and pin number 3 of LM741 connect the terminal number 2 of LM741 to resistor R3 and resistor R3 to the output of op-amp and the terminal 2 of capacitor C2 is connected to the output and the terminal 1 is connected in between the resistor R1 and R2. Next we have to place the label net for this particular circuit. So click on place global pin and define the label pin as V in. Similarly we have to place the global pin VCC and global pin VEE. Similarly we have to place the global pin VCC and VEE across the terminal number 7 and terminal number 4 of the operational amplifier and also we have to place the global label V in across the resistor R1. So place the global pin V in and connect the global pin V in with the wire to the resistor R1. Next we have to define the voltage source value. So right click on the voltage source value, click on property, edit property, define the reference as VCC and define the DC value as 12 volt and define the value as 0. Next similarly right click on voltage source property, edit property, define the reference as VEE, define the value as 0 click on edit spice model and define this as minus 12 volt now right click on the voltage source click on property edit property define the reference as v in the value as 0 click on edit spice model define the ac magnitude as 1 volt and sinusoidal select sinusoidal Define DC offset as 0, amplitude as 1, frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. Now we have to define the spice analysis. So click on place and click on graphic text and place this particular graphic text. Now type dot AC decade number of points as 100, start frequency as 1 hertz, stop frequency as 10 kilohertz and click OK. Now place this on the schematic window. Now select tools and run this particular simulation. Click on probe and place the probe across the output of the second order low pass filter. You can see the frequency response of the second order low pass filter. Let us also perform the transient analysis for this particular circuit. So click on place, click on graphic text. Now type dot tran 4 milliseconds and 8 milliseconds and click OK and place this particular 
on the schematic window now click on run and stop simulation click on probe and place the probe on V in and place the probe on the output of this particular circuit you can see the transient analysis for the second order low pass filter circuit thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below